the intro here, right? Can be seated. Everybody everywhere will be the next song. Everybody everywhere will be the next song. Good morning. 
Let us begin in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I was glad when they said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. His mercy endures forever. Join me in the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate. He was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. All right, up on your feet, let's worship. to jump with all my mind from the top of my head way way down in my toes i can't keep it all inside one two dance with all my mind you ready everybody Wow, that was really good. Well, good morning again. My name is Mr. Gaylor. I am in charge, excuse me, middle school. I'm Mr. Gaylor. Excuse me, do I hear you? Hello? Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, excuse me for a second. You know, last year I got a much better reception from the middle schoolers than this year. So good morning, guys. There we go, there we go. See how that goes, middle school? See how that goes? <laughs> well, this morning, we're going to talk a little bit about creation. And as you can see, I have my animal prints on. And she... So we're going to talk about why God created everything. Why did he create everything? And we have this great video for you. So 
up in the booth if you can show us our video and you guys just sit back and relax. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. God spoke into the void and the earth, sun, and universe was created. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. God shaped the mountains of the earth, the tallest peak standing majestic against the sky. The snow-covered tips reaching toward the ether are a monument to your power. We gaze in wonder at their heights. Your majesty pronounced by your power. The God who created the mountains also created Carl. Oh, hello. Ooh. Ah, that's right. Oh, I gotta fix my contact. Is that my cue? Uh, I, what's my line? Ah. Hey. I'm Carl. God filled the depths of the earth with oceans. Oceans so deep that humans have not seen all the wonders that they hold. The sea swirls with fantastic creatures of awe and fear. From schools of fish crossing the depths to the ferocious power of the great white shark, we see your hand in it all. The God who created these oceans also created Carl. Ah. I forgot my toothbrush. The forests and the jungles rich with life, teeming with the vast creation of your hand. Animals and insects exist in a wondrous cycle of life filling the air with sound and trees with movement. Birds soar high above while lions roam the vast plains. Look at the Bengal tiger, the symmetry, the perfection of design. The God who made the jungles and the forests of the world also made Carl. I, uh... I came in fourth in my fantasy football league this year. There were four teams. The sun, the bright star of the morning, anchor of our solar system, burns with light. Our days arrive and fall as the earth spins, rotating in perfect harmony with day and night. The days pass to weeks, the weeks to months, and the months close to a year. In the wonder of time, we see your hand, Lord, the God who created the sun and watches our days spin to years, also created Carl. Uh, if, if, I, if I had to put one on top, gluten-free Wheatons, best cereal. The human body is a marvel of creation. On the microscopic level, cells combine to form organs, blood, and veins. Ah! Our mind's complex machinery of synapses and neurons, the gift of consciousness with the power to think and the ability to praise. Lord, your hand has formed the wonders of the human brain. We are made in your image. The God who created the complexity of the human mind also created Carl. I, uh, I love the smell of freshly cut grass. The God who took from nothing and created the universe with all the beautiful harmony, the sun and the planets, the earth teeming with life. From the majestic mountains to the untold depths of the oceans, the jungles and the forests, to all the wonders of nature. The God who created life, who created the mind, 
who knows the numbers of the hairs on your head, that God also created Carl. So I, uh, I, just, I just learned how to whip a nene. But like, now I gotta learn this whole whoa thing. Woo! The Lord of Lords, the Alpha and the Omega, the God of all things who has created all things and given life to the universe, also created Carl. Talk to like three whole people today. So, as you can see, God created a lot of things, including Carl. Um, the amazing thing about God's creation, what do you think, Miss Beth, is, is the fact that he created, well, everything. From, from your eyes to your heart. To the things we see around us, land. Land. Oh, you know what I got to see last week? I was on vacation. I got to see a volcano erupt. While you were there? While I was there. So that was cool. You know, I got to see, I got to see God creating things right there in front of me. That's what was really awesome. So he's still creating. He's still creating. That's amazing. Wait, there's a lot of people in here. None that is so cool. God made everyone in here. Isn't that amazing? Aren't, yeah, God right? It's amazing, amazing right? And right? everybody is so different. Just so like Carl. Carl's, Carl was different. Carl was very different. Okay. And guess what? You're different also. Well, you're, you're most definitely different. Yes. My definitely. middle school people are very different. Very different. Yes. 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 Yeah. Yes. How, about your, how about your people? My are they people different? My people are amazingly different. And I love them all uniquely. Yes, yes, yes. Well, here's the amazing thing. is not only that, God created everything for our enjoyment. For us to enjoy, to us to appreciate, for us to keep on living. Think about the complexity of everything that goes on around you. You, need, you see all those plants, that fresh cut grass, all that stuff that you guys see outside is made for us. Not only because we love to enjoy that smell and that and that uh, their, their beauty and stuff, but also they have a purpose. Their purpose is to take our oxygen and change it in, or take our oxygen, then, and they make, uh, excuse me, let me get this, this science stuff straight because that wasn't my best subject, all right? <laughs> they take our carbon dioxide, and they produce oxygen that we need. So we have to coexist that way. That's right. the way God made it. Yes. Complex. Complex. But yet... Simple. Simple and in balance. In balance, right? In harmony. In harmony. Mm -hmm. So. And also, that gives God great pleasure too. Yes. Just seeing us and being in relationship with us. Oh, most definitely. And so much that he wanted to be in a relationship with us that even though we make mistakes, like obviously Carl makes mistakes and I make mistakes and all of us make mistakes... So we don't have to be perfect? We don't have to be perfect. We don't have to have it all together all the time. Oh, I don't have it all together all the time, no, believe either. me. I make a lot of mistakes. Yes, I know. Sadly. Yeah. But here's the thing. God loves us so much that he sent his only son so that we can be in relation with him. His son died for us, and his son rose from the dead for us, and his son forgives us. All the time. All the time. No matter how many times we mess up. Because he loves us. Because we are his creation. Isn't that amazing? It is very amazing. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing? Right? Mm -hmm. So as you guys go around campus today and you guys are wondering, why did God create all this stuff? Remember, he created it for you. And he created it for me. And he does it because he loves us. Amen? All right. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Let's pray. Let's thank God for his creation. One, two, three. <laughs> Heavenly Father, thank you so much that you are our creator. 
Not only are you our creator, so uniquely created us, you also are our Heavenly Father, and you see us right where we are. No matter, you created this, and everything that we can see and learn and know about, you created it. You were there before it all began. My mind can't even comprehend what that must be like. But thank you so much that you love us so much, that you created everything that we see and feel around us, and you sent us your son, Jesus, most importantly, to be our forever friend, to save us from our sin, and to make way for us to join you in heaven one day. Thank you so much for the gift of your Holy Spirit that lives inside our hearts, that teaches us new things every day. Thank you for this time that we can come together to worship you and to thank you for who you are. We love you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, let's take our chapel offering.
love to worship our Lord with you. Let's go ahead and take down our nailers. And join me in saying the words of the Lord's Prayer all together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. All right. Please stand for our closing song. Yeah, let's give Jesus a clap for that. That's amazing. Go in peace and serve the Lord. Speed to God.
All right, and with that, I'd like to welcome up our amazingly, uniquely gifted and created principal, Dr. Marquardt. Thank you. All right, thank you very much. Can we borrow that other mic from you, Mr. Gaylor? Thank you. Thank you guys for your message and that video. I don't know who Carl is, but uh, he's a popular guy. All right. Hi. Hi. You're not uh, Sophia Keefe. Who are you? Um, I'm Louise Wakeham, but some people call me Lou. Oh, Louise Wakeham. What do you do for our ASB, Louise? <laughs> I'm the treasurer. Oh, you count the money. I gotcha. All right, you're going to help me with announcements today? I think so. <laughs> All right, well, thank you for doing that. All right, well, today is uh, September 20th. It's the 20th day of school. Did you notice all week long? Like September 18th was the 18th day of school. September 19th was the 9th. There's a name for that. Isn't it like your golden birthday? No. Yeah, I'm, I'm confused. Anyhow, I don't know what we're talking about. Anyhow, I'm going to give you uh, the announcements here. Take us through everything that we need to know about our Christian character quality and our philanthropy. It's all yours, Lou. Take it away. Okay. So our Christian character quality this month is creativity, and here's the verse. So let's say it on three. One, two, three. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth, and God saw everything that he had made, and behold, it was very good. Genesis 1. 1, one. one. Okay. And then the September philanthropy this month is the Las Mia Learning Center and the goal for each class is to raise 40 to raise 40 bucks which will make two student uniforms right. yeah oh yeah and then so far we've had four classes from K through 2 reach the goal and even higher apparently it's a lot of money and then in three for five only one class has, but uh, the other classes are very close. And then six through eight has three classes, and shout out to Mrs. Bridgman's class, $169. And yeah, yeah. You got the same side. Okay, so great job, middle school. The Middle school dance, we raised $431 on the raffle. And I believe one student literally put in $100, which was a lot. And yeah. Where's that money going? Uh, the money is going to Maui United Way, which is a charity that's helping um, people in Maui who suffered from the fire. Ah, that's great. I'm glad you guys are doing that. All right, we've been uh, working on some questions. Should I put you on the spot and ask you a question from first week? Who is Ooh. God? God is the creator of everyone and everything. All right, how about the next week's question? How many persons are there in God? There are three persons in one God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. All right, and then... The question from last week was why, how and why did God create us? Good question. God created us male and female in his own image to glorify him. All right. And so if you answered one of those questions, you got a raffle ticket. And they're starting to get a lot of raffle tickets in here, right? Yeah. All right. We kind of know how this works. We pick one color of each, right? Yeah. And... Uh, they get to come up. I want to share with you, though, we've got an extra item up here on the front table. Lou, can you pick this up? She's pretty strong. Uh, how much do you think that weighs? Uh, probably like just 10 pounds. All right. Well, I think it weighs more than that. Michaela Bridgman told me it weighed 44 pounds. This pumpkin is from our learning garden. We grew this in our learning garden, all right? 
And you guys have Learning Garden this week, so that's kind of cool. But I will tell you, this is the biggest pumpkin we've ever grown. If you went out and tried to buy this at a store, it'd be about 20, 25 bucks easily, all right? So you can put it down, Lou. I don't want you to get too tired before the game today. All right, we are going to raffle that off, not this week, but next week, because next week will be the end of the month, and so we'll have as many tickets in here as possible, all right? So not only will we do our regular raffle, but we'll have a special raffle for the pumpkin, okay? All right, Lou, are we ready to open up? Yes. All right, here we go. We gotta get one of each color. Oh, and by the way, I don't know what color middle school is. What color is middle school? Orange. All right, so Anthony Farage has won two weeks in a row. Anthony, statistically, it would be incredible if we pulled your name again, but we are going to disqualify you this week just because. You can't win three weeks in a row. No more winning. No more winning for Anthony. All right, pick one out of there, Lou. Emily. I don't know how to pronounce the last name. Ooh, that was close. It's an orange ticket. Emily Youssef. Emily. Oh. She knew it. All right, come on up. You can pick anything on the table there, Emily, except for the pumpkin. All right? All right, pick another color. Pick a blue or a red one, Lou. That's a $20 Amazon gift card. Ooh, from first grade, we have... Olivia Sadigi. All right, and now we need a red one. All right. No class on here, but Nixon Ring. Nixon Ring, all right, Nixon. All right, Nixon, you can choose anything off the table except for the pumpkin. Our tickets will stay in there till next week, and then after next week, we'll empty it out because it'll be a new month, all right? The question for this week, Lou, is what else did God create? What else did God create is the question. And some of you guys know it already, don't you? What else did God create? Let's, what else did God, you know it already? He made um. That's okay. You got until Friday to know it. On Friday, we'll ask, and then you can get your name in the raffle bin. All right? Okay. This is an announcement for parents. I know several parents have been waiting for this tomorrow, or not tomorrow, Friday. Uh, Mrs. Katie Gillen is going to be starting the book club, Habits of the Household. Friday morning after lineup, just go over to Peter's Parish, 830 to 930. You don't need to have the book. You don't need to have read the book, but if you get the book ahead of time and read it, you're going to score some points with the teacher, Katie Gillen. Okay, she'll appreciate that. So I want you all to know you're invited to that. All right, Lou, we have some announcements about sports. Why don't you tell us what the boys' football team's got going on? Uh, today, the boys' football team is playing home versus friends. And then tomorrow, they're playing away at St. Paul's. And next Tuesday, they're playing away at St. John's. All right, so the season is well underway. Now, our girls volleyball team, this is kind of neat. We have over 30 girls out for volleyball this year, so we have three teams. And the cool thing about it is they're all killing it. They're, they're really amazing. So if you get a chance, come on out and see the girls volleyball teams. We've got a lot of games this week. Yeah. Tell us what they are, Lou. So today we have the white team playing away at St. Paul's and the red team's also playing away at St. Paul's and the blue team is playing home versus Salem. And then tomorrow, the red and white team are both playing at St. John's and on Friday, the blue team is playing home versus St. Paul's. Wow, we got a lot going on. And if you notice, a lot of our middle schoolers are wearing their uniforms because we got all three volleyball teams playing today and our football team is playing today. So we've got a lot of games going on today. Good luck to all of our sports teams. Um, 
One last announcement before I send you off. Parents, you should have got an email on this. We're starting our Safe Kids Hero program, and there's a parent information night next Monday at 6 o'clock right here in the sanctuary. You are invited to join us for that. If you can't come, we are going to live stream it, and you can watch it online. But if you're like me, I like to be in person because then I get a little more out of it. But that's just me. All right, anything else, Lou? Nope. All right, thank Mr. Gaylor and Miss Beth for your chapel message today. Praise band, you guys are doing a great job. Play us out. I was buried beneath thy shame. Who could carry that guy away? It was my turn. Till I was breathing, but not alive. All my failures I tried to hide. It was my time. Till I. Thank you.